In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a subscription product inside the Upsell plugin. So I've added a new product here, and it's fairly simple to change it from a single payment to a subscription payment. So you're going to give it a price. So you're going to want to be on the General tab. You're going to give the product the price. You're going to set it if it's a digital or physical product. And then here, payment type is it a single or subscription. When you choose subscription, you have the option down here for the recurring charges. How often should the car customer be charged? Daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly? Let's just choose monthly for now. And then what also you can check off is should there be a recur recurring charge limit? Now we added this. This is perfect because this gives you the opportunity to offer an installment plan. So let's say the product of your, let's say the price of your product that you're selling is a high ticket product. Let's say it's maybe a thousand dollars. If somebody doesn't have the opportunity to pay you a thousand dollars right away for your product, what you can do is choose this recurring charge limit to offer installment plans. So let's say you wanted that you wanted to give them the option to pay a little bit more, but they can break it down over a installment plan. Let's say you wanted to say they can either purchase your product for a thousand dollars one time fee, or maybe they can pay it off for four hundred dollars over three months. So let's give it a four hundred dollar price point you would then check off recurring charge limit and how many times, three times you want to charge them and then it will stop. So what will happen is it will automatically charge them one time per month, $400 for three months and then it will stop. That's a way for you to enable the installment plans. And now on the left hand side here on the upsell plugin settings, go to subscriptions. And this is where it'll show you all your active subscriptions and cancel subscriptions, stuff like that. So if I just go into this one real quick, this was a, a test one, a demo one. Click on the ID. Here's where I'll show you all the information. It shows you if it was active, if it's been canceled, the start date, if there's an end date, um, the billing cycle, is, there, is it limited? Yes. How long? Three. So this was an installment plan. Tells you which product it was purchased. Um, and then you can click on payment and it will actually show you if it was Stripe or PayPal and I'll give you the information so if you need to go into your Stripe account and make any changes you can. So that's how you set up subscriptions in the upsell plugin.